Um, basically, what, what are the main points tonight? Why are people gathered? We're talking about, you know, uh, we have to overcome the white terror, the, of course, by the Education Bureau, the, uh, and also to uphold our professionalism, uh, to, you know, to safeguard our students, to safeguard our profession. So there are fears of a free speech in schools? Yes, uh, I think well, that is very important uh, for we to feel free to uh, you know, deliver our education. Uh, but nowadays, I think the government is trying to uh, you know, deter us from uh, all kind of uh, freedom of speech or whatever. So uh, they are trying to uh, you know, look up our Facebooks, for example, mm. uh, even our you No know, Friends Only posts, and say that you know, and claim some of us are committing you no know, professional misconduct. And I think, well, this is ridiculous because you no, know, uh, this uh, there's nothing to do with our teaching. This has nothing to do with our, our students. So I think, well, they are trying to look up everything, look up all the details, uh, and that would actually you no know, cause a lot of fear among teachers. Teachers uh, may f may be afraid of you no know, um, writing uh, anything on Facebook and talking uh, to teachers, uh, to teach, uh, colleagues in the staff room uh, because you know, uh, anyone can complain to the education bureau that uh, Mr. Blah 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 is talking something bad about the police. Well, the uh, education chief, Kevin Young, told Mainland Media that principals are not even allowed to support those teachers if they're accused. Has this caused a, a chilling effect? So that is also uh, one of the factors uh, affecting you know, uh, why we are gathering here. Not only the teachers are being threatened, uh, even the school principals are also being threatened. Uh, the the uh, Secretary for Education is talking about you know, uh, you know, this principals may face uh, disqualification uh, if they uh, do not uh, you know, work with the, uh, the education bureau. So I think well, this is very, very serious in, in fact. What, what do you make of the argument that the government says, you know, these politics should be kept out of schools? I think we should keep away this kind of politics. You know, this kind of politics caused, caused by the education bureau uh, should be kept away, totally kept away. I, I think, well, uh, the Education Bureau is making very, very exceptional uh, you know, uh, uh, treatment in these kinds of complaints. Uh, uh, for example, this, uh, many of the complaints uh, you know, without name. You know, they, 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 we even do not know who, they, 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 who, who are complaining, uh, the teachers. But they also you know, deal with those complaints. And this is not, uh, the, uh, no, not the common use in, in, for the Education Bureau. Uh, so they are making a lot of exceptional arrangement. And, and, and this is, uh, all of us know that you know, it's out of political motive. Um, I have to ask, you have a decent turnout tonight, but I spoke on uh, January 1st at the, the Civil Front Rally uh, protest to a new pro-democracy union that was trying to form among teachers. Um, is there an issue with unity within the union? And uh, they were criticizing the, the PTU for not being activist enough, if anything. Well, I think well, diff uh, they are uh, in a sector where we can uh, have uh, different uh, unions. Uh, of course, I think well, uh, the PTU, Professional Teachers Union, is the biggest union nowadays. And I think well, uh, we have uh, uh, the majority of the memberships in, in, in Hong Kong. Uh, that is very important because uh, union is some, is, has to do with solidarity. And I think we are uh, trying our best to safeguard the profession, to safeguard uh, the teachers uh, and, and also the students. And I think, well, uh, I, for, for example, myself as be, being a, a legislative councillor, I'm also speaking up against the education bureaus, uh, you know, uh, the, what their accusation or whatever. So uh, I think we are trying our best. I hope that you know uh, people, uh, all our teachers, colleagues, we join together. Um, uh, solidarity mm. is very important. I think we can set up different uh, unions, but uh, after all, we have to work together 
to form a very strong uh, front against any suppression. One, one more question. Um, for 2020, uh, it seems clear from Wednesday that the yellow economy, unions, this may be the front line now for a lot of the pro-democracy movements and opposition. For the government, it may be education. Um, do you think we are heading into another 2012 situation where we saw those huge protests, scholarism, national education? Are students going to be, you know, staging class boycotts and rebellions if the government really tries to push uh, these kinds of politics on schools? Well, I think well, education is at the heart of Hong Kong people. Uh, it's very, very important. So um, we can see from the recent history, uh, 2014, 2012, 2012, uh, all these incidents uh, tell us that you know, uh, this teach, uh, teachers, parents in Hong Kong would do everything to safeguard education, to safeguard our students, and to safeguard you know, the freedom of speech and freedom of mind. Thank you, Mr. Rep, for joining us. Cheers.